is that they make time in their, in their day for reflection. We live in a time where people don't know how to engage in tafakkur anymore. Have you seen people? The moment they wake up, they have to look at their phone. They fall asleep on social media. If their phone is missing even for a few seconds, they panic. They're so obsessed with these devices that they're missing out on Allah's ayat. They don't have time to just think, turn it off. Dedicate at least 30, 15 minutes, 30 minutes a day, put everything away and just breathe. Think. Allah in the Quran, when He describes the believers, they contemplate over Allah's creation. Some of us are so obsessed with our phones that we have never looked up and looked up at the stars. The ayat of Allah are more mesmerizing than your phone. We've been so, we are so disconnected from Allah's creation. Think about the beauty of His creation. You think the 99 names of Allah are only written on your wall? The 99 names of Allah are scattered through the universe. You have to look. You have to engage in tafakkur. Rasulullah, in order to develop his own soul, he had to go to the cave of Hira. You think you're going to get somewhere without disconnecting from dunya? Even Rasulullah had to disconnect. He had a habit of meditation in the cave of Hira. He, months he would spend up there. You need time. Even Amir al mumin when he was struck on the 19th of Ramadan, when he was, being, he was carried to his home, at that moment, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib looked up at the sun. He reflected on Allah's khalq. Do you know what he says? He's bleeding. Hassan and Hussein, they're carrying him back to the home. Amir al Mu'mineen, with his eyes, he looks up at the sun that's rising. He says, Allah is my witness that I always rose before you. Don't call yourselves the lovers of Ali if you're sleeping at the time of Fajr. You have to wake up. You have to be connected to Allah's creation.